Hi, welcome to Siemens NX video tutorial. And there is still another way to do that cylinder. And I want to do it as before in Katia. So let's start with a sketch on the YZ plane. That would be the right plane. Yes. And confirm. I need a rectangle. Maybe like that. And I want to include that plane here. I will make a short in my short section to show you how to make this obsolete. So let's bring it in. And then this one and that one should be collinear. And that distance here should be 136 divided by 2. Yes. And that point here. And this one here could be coincident. Now finish that sketch. Let's make a revolve. And the vector would be in this case the set axis like that. 360 degrees, yes, and confirm. Okay, I will need sort of a similar sketch, so I could copy it, Control C for copy, Control V for paste, and just confirm because it's on the same plane. Maybe show it and hide that revolve. Edit it, so that should be 75. Okay, and that distance here should be 1.67. So in order to do that, I have to relax relations because this here should be, there should be constraint. No, not constraint here. So let's go for relax relations and add a dimension, so maybe from this one here to that line. Double click it and make it 1.67, confirm. Like that. And the rest will be okay. Like this. Looks good. Finish that sketch. Make another revolve. Maybe show that revolve before. Curve would be, of course, the sketch. The vector would be, again, the set axis. Again, 360 degrees, and it should be united. And confirm. Now let's go for a pattern feature and it should be a linear one it should be that revolve it should go in that direction that's okay i need 31 instances and the distance between those is 6.67 that's okay let's confirm now i need another sketch again on the same plane confirm this will be another rectangle. And it should be 7 by 47. So go for 7, tap 47, enter. Okay. And I forgot to click, sorry. Okay. Go here, click, it's 7 by 47, 
and click OK. And there should be a fillet. So let's see if we can do that fillet. It should be between this line and that line. And that radius should be 7. OK, this should be for construction, if at all. Now, I have to include once more that plane up here. So that would be the plane, the datum plane, this one. OK. And now make this line and that one here collinear. And the distance between that axis or that point, let's go for the axis, and that line here should be, I think, 75, or what is it? Yeah, 75. 75, like that. Finish that sketch. No. Something's off. No, that's okay. But this will not work. You have to go for like 74.999. That will work. 75 will not work because it's a parasolid based kernel. So go for finish. Now let's make a revolve, and the vector would be, in this case, this line here. Let's try to select it, yes. It should be united, yes. That's OK, and confirm. Now I need a circular pattern with this feature here. So that revolve should be patterned as a circular pattern. I need four instances, 360 degrees, and the vector would be, of course, the z-axis, and that point would be 0, 0, 0. Let's confirm. Looks good. Now I can bring back that sketch here. I think that was sketch number four. Let's see. Yes. And I want to go for a hole up there. So it should have a diameter of 126. Position would be the center point of that edge here. Let's see if we can snap. No, not the, I don't want to use the face. Let's move out and try to select that edge. Hmm. Doesn't snap. It doesn't snap on this one, but it doesn't snap on that one. No, that that could work. Yes, our center. And that's one, two, six. Yes, normal to face. Yes, and it should go through body. Subtract, that's OK. And confirm. Nice. Now for our extrude here with that circle, make it symmetric. Make it maybe 200, that's OK, and confirm. Let's hide that sketch. Also hide that sketch here, and this one. Now I need a hole, so I want to use that circle pattern as reference for the next one. So let's check which revolve was the original one, that one. So I have to bring my hole right there. So go for a hole. It's 10 by 20, that's OK, and select this edge here in order to get that arc center here. OK? And confirm. Now I want to order, I want to pattern this feature with 
a reference to that one here. Looks okay. The base instant handle would be this one here. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give a like or leave a comment. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.